Hello, my name is Lisa J. I was um, a member of the ISA for many years and I submitted to a writing gig and the ISA reached out to me. They read my um, script that I'd submitted and asked me if they could sign a shopping agreement with me. And um, I said, yes. And we had many conversations and I really liked um, talking with them and dealing with them. And I was invited to be part of the development slate and then became one of the top 25 writers to watch in 2021. Hearing that I was one of the top 25 writers, that made me really happy. I've been watching that for years and um, it was really satisfying to finally be one of, in that group. <laughs> it, was, it was great to get that email and find out. It was a, it was a really satisfying feeling, it made me very happy. I never thought of myself as a writer. I, I grew up in a family of painters and artists and sculptors, and I went to college um, for painting, and I barely could write a paper all through college and went to grad school for um, art history, and I got in so much trouble for how bad my papers were, and they were like, you need to learn how to write a freaking essay. I mean, I used to get yelled at. I couldn't write to save my life, and I really wanted to be able to tell stories. I've always loved books. I've always been a huge reader and I've I read to my kids and I love fairy tales and um but I I couldn't write. And then um about eight years ago we moved to New Mexico and I uh, decided to do art direction for some independent films. And I loved being on set and I loved doing the art direction. It, it really made me want to write. I wanted to, do, I wanted to direct and I wanted to tell my own stories. So I just said, decided, okay, I'm going to write, I'm going to write my own screenplays. So I just taught myself. I just sat down and said, I'm going to, I'm going to learn how to do this. And um, I just committed to doing it. I, I bought the books. I spent every second doing it. I just taught myself. So um yeah, I mean, I, I'm really, I'm really pleased that I figured it out, <laughs> but I, I never intended to become a writer. No, I think what's really helped me is that I had a very, very rough childhood, and um, I'm also incredibly driven person. Like I'm a little bit OCD, and I'm also incredibly stubborn. So there was never any thought of not working hard or ever giving up. It was just, I'm gonna do this and it doesn't matter how hard I have to work. And so um, I think that if I hadn't been that kind of person, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. But, and, and like the job I'm on now, I'm on my first paid um, writing assignment and um, I got two months to write the first draft and I'm moving and I've got all this other stuff going on. And, and I wrote the first draft, the first, the first rough draft. I mean, I haven't turned it in yet, but in three weeks, because I just sat down and did it, but, but because that's how I am, I will just do it. I will just sit down and make myself do things. And so, you know, people are like, Oh, you know, it's, I don't have that kind of talent or this and that. Well, a lot of it comes down to just how hard you're willing to work or the type of discipline you have, or, I mean, I just really push myself and, and maybe that's not good and maybe it is good, but, but that's just the way it is. I, I think a lot of it just comes down to how hard I push myself. I've just made things happen for myself. Don't work so hard, <laughs> honestly. I mean, I, I, think, um, I think I've pushed myself way too hard many times. And, and I think that uh, I could have easily gotten this far without, maybe it would have taken a little more time, but without pushing so hard. I think I do push myself too hard sometimes. I'd love to do some more writing assignments. I've, I've really found this an interesting challenge. I mean, I thought I knew how I wrote from writing specs. I understood my writing of specs and my writing of, of collaborative collaborative projects or collaborating is, is an entirely different creature. And it's really interesting. And, and 
um, very challenging and I and it's it's really fun to learn that there's this whole new avenue I have to explore. So I'd love to do more of those. Um, I really want to direct some of my own work and I really want to sell um, some of my specs. And so that's that's my goal.